Meteorologist Eric Maitland. Hey, as we get into our Thursday night into Friday morning, we'll be keeping an eye on the radar for some thunderstorms that could form, possibly strong. Evening time for Thursday, mostly dry, but as we uh, move the clock ahead toward hours past midnight, 2 o'clock, you kind of see the uh, shape of a front moving into eastern Iowa by 4 a.m. Again, you see not a lot of rain, but there are hints that there could be some storms out there along the front as it moves through the Quad Cities area. Uh, here at 7 a.m., there are those storms get a little bit more visible, but uh, for most of us, we'll start our Friday dry and keep it that way. Going into the evening, uh, there you see mostly sunny skies expected for our Friday and then into Saturday as well. The best news about Friday and Saturday, less humidity, still warm, middle 80s to low 80s for high temperatures. And as we get into our Sunday, again, starting dry here, but late Sunday, we might see the rain come back as our humidities jump up a bit. Friday's high 85, but we will be less humid with those northwest winds coming in at 10. Mostly sunny skies, and as we uh, check out uh, temperatures around the rest of the area, north of Interstate 80, low to mid 80s for the most part. I think those uh, mid 80s will be a little bit more widespread south of Interstate 80, including 84 in Princeton, 86 in Burlington for our Friday afternoon here in the Metro Quad Cities. Highs of about 84 to 85, plenty of sunshine. Uh, not as much humidity. Looking at the seven day forecast, 83 for Saturday, another day with low humidity. That starts to ramp up on Sunday, bringing back the rain chances, middle 80s, and into next week, middle and upper 80s for high temperatures. Best rain chances Monday and Tuesday, but after dry Wednesday, rain chances return on Thursday.